July 3rd, Paris, France. Being held here is the Japan Expo, which showcases Japanese culture. The manga and anime related booths are bustling with people. A crowd gathers in one area. They're all looking at a robot. Do you live in Tokyo? Do you live in Tokyo? Responding to questions from the French speaker is a robot called Orihime. It nods and looks around curiously. Using amusing movements, it expresses its feelings. The small gestures are very cute. It's cute and really high tech. This robot is actually being remotely controlled from Japan. Orihime was developed by Kentaro Yoshifuji. He set up his own company two years ago. A camera is installed in its forehead and a microphone and speaker in the chest area. By simply downloading a dedicated application, it can be controlled with a tablet device or smartphone. Potential uses include allowing someone in hospital to communicate with family members at home and even go shopping with them virtually. It is a nursing care robot to connect people. What the robot sees is displayed here. For example, if you want to see this area, then you slide this part to the center. The screen moves as if following your finger. And of course the robot is moving at the same time. And a recent addition is the arms. They are moved using 10 or so tabs on the control panel. Pata pata means flapping both arms to express joy. And there's also one for a Kansai style reaction. The original idea behind Orihime was There was a time when I myself wasn't able to go to school. During childhood, Mr. Yoshifuji suffered from physical problems and was unable to attend school for three years. I started thinking how great it would be if I could let an alter ego go outside and control the robot as if it was my own body. Orihime was born from his own experience. His dream was something more than what a video phone could offer. A device that could allow a person to feel present in a place with others. The robotics market is forecast to grow to $100 billion over the next two decades, with the service industry, including medical and nursing care, accounting for about half that figure. But in Japan, there are still major challenges to overcome in robot development. This is Temzak, a robot maker in Fukuoka Prefecture. Hello. This is what they're working on now. It's an electric wheelchair type robot. We're adding a lot of communications technology, including control and sensor chips, to turn it into a robot. The biggest characteristic of this wheelchair type robot is how it's ridden. When it slides right next to the bed, then you can get on it yourself. The company has also partnered with mobile operator NTT Docomo to equip it with a communication function that alerts others when the user has fallen off. They've made 10 prototypes so far, but have hit a big wall. We want to take it out and test it in various environments, but hospitals in Japan have told us not to bring in anything unless it's absolutely safe. But how are we to verify if it's completely safe? We need to do that somewhere. Almost no hospitals are willing to test new nursing care robots for which there are no specifications or standards. So, through a government-funded agency, 
Tamzak reached an agreement to carry out practical trials in Denmark. They will begin the program at a local hospital in the autumn. In contrast, Mr. Yoshifuji, who developed Orihime, doesn't have the financial resources to test his invention overseas. I'm Gaki. So, he enlisted the help of a certain person. Is there a function it should be able to do with gestures? <laughs> you mean like this? <laughs> the voice belongs to Yuta Banda. Twenty one years ago, he suffered a spinal injury in a car accident. He's mostly paralyzed and requires a ventilator at all times. Mr. Yoshifuji learned about Mr. Banda half a year earlier after receiving this message. There are children who can't go outside. Because of their condition, they never see the world outside and things they should see and fly away to heaven. Paris, where Orihime was unveiled at the Japan Expo. On this day, Orihime is seen on the streets of the French capital. Curious passers-by try to talk to it. Hello, how are you? Think I oh, <laughs> you're very cute, you know. <laughs> Do you have a girlfriend? The robot is actually being controlled by Mr. Banda. He then goes to an iconic site in the city. Three, two, one. There it is, Arc de Triomphe. Banda, this is the Arc. It's big, amazing, isn't it? This is a gift from Mr. Yoshifuji. The first trip overseas for Mr. Banda. Sights he would not have been able to enjoy without the robot. Therapeutic type robots aren't recognized and covered by insurance in Japan. I want to put this on the market by July next year.